Hello everyone, I'm really glad you could join me on today's video. My name is Donovan Guzman. I am an education program coordinator at the wonderful organization of Div Outdoors Nevada. And in this week's video, we're going to continue to learn about and talk about our public lands here in Southern Nevada. But in this week's video, we're going to focus on logos. We're going to talk about how each of our public lands have their own logo. We're going to talk about what they mean. And we're also going to talk about the mission that each public land has. Now, what is a logo? A logo is a symbol. It's a design that an organi organization has to help us identify it. You may be exposed to logos in everyday objects, like the things you eat. The Doritos logo is in the shape of its own chip. Or if you go get coffee, if you like to drink coffee, and you visit Starbucks, Starbucks also has its own logo. So all of these organizations, all of these businesses, they have their own logo that allows us to identify it. So each of the public lands, like Red Rock Canyon and, Spring, and the Spring Mountains and um, Lake Mead National Recreation Area and Desert National Wildlife Refuge, each of those public lands have their own logos that helps us um, identify it. Those logos also tell a story. It tells us the history of what these public lands stand for and what their mission is. Now, the first logo I wanna introduce you to is the Bureau of Land Management. So the Bureau of Land Management, they look over and they protect the Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area. This is what their logo looks like. The mission of the Bureau of Land Management is to sustain the health, the diversity, and productivity of the public lands for the use and enjoyment of present and future generations. So the Bureau of Land Management they oversee a lot of lands, but one of the lands they look over in particular is Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area. And their logo matches what their main mission is and the type of land that they protect. Now the next logo I want to introduce you to is the U.S. Forest Service. This agency protects the Spring Mountains National Recreation Area. And as you can see, their logo contains a forest and a, or a tree design to kind of go with their whole mission, which is to sustain the health, diversity, and productivity of the nation's forests and grasslands to meet the needs of present and future generations. The Spring Mountains is part of the Humboldt Toyabe National Forest. So the U.S. Forest Service oversees and they watch over that forest to make sure it's protected and to sustain it for future generations. Over at the Spring Mountains, there are 50 sensitive plant and animal species. So we need an agency like the U.S. Forest Service to protect all of those resources, to protect the forest, to protect the animals and plants that live there and depend on. So the next public land logo I want to introduce you to is the National Park Service. And if you didn't know, the National Park Service they watch over and they protect Lake Mead National Recreation Area. Now, the mission of the National Park Service is to preserve unimpaired the natural and cultural resources and values of the National Park Service for the enjoyment, education, and inspiration of this and future generations. So as you can see, the National Park Service logo has a distinctive, they have a very special shape. This is in, in the shape of an arrowhead. Now an arrowhead, they use the arrowhead as a symbol, as a design to show that they protect cultural resources. At Lake Mead, there are petroglyphs that are cultural resources that the National Park Service is supposed to protect. They're also protecting the recreation part. So they're protecting the water that you use. They're also protecting the mountains behind you. So the National Park Service, they watch over Lake Mead National Recreation Area. And finally, the last public land I public land logo I want to talk to you guys about is the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service logo. Now, the main mission of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is working with others to conserve, protect, and enhance fish, wildlife, plants, and their habitats for the continuing, be the continuing benefit of the American people. As we learned last week, the Desert National Wildlife Refuge, they protect a very special species here, a very special animal here in the Mojave Desert, and that is the desert bighorn sheep. So that's why we set aside, set aside special places like Desert National Wildlife Refuge, and the main government agency, the main organization that watches over them is the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And because they protect animals and wildlife and habitats, they need a logo to match what they do. So that's why we see animals here, like birds and fish and they're going to protect the lands as well so that's why they have the river or the skies that they protect here 
So you can see how logos help the design help tells us what they do, their history, and what they're all about. We learned about how each of our public lands have a, has an organization and an agency that watches over them and protects them and tells us, and their logos tell us what they do, tell us what they protect. So tune in to this week, tune in to next week's episode where we will be talking about our public lands and something else you can do with them. So I want to thank you for tuning into this week's episode. I will see you guys next week.